guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can open. that despite his opponent's submission acumen, he's more than willing to engage him. A lot of times guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spot. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. The guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, he connects there. Right on the button. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big kick lands. How good is that right hand? Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Great timing on that third take up. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Solid strike on the ground. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Just unable to quite find that range. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, taking all of that kick every time he throws. Blocks the shot. Right punches there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. Oh, a little 
single collar tie there. And they separate. And he landed the right hand there. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He's back to the prison position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing him with that type of intensity. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, tags him with that money left again. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Round two is next. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Nice punch, man. Left-right combo is good. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Straight to the body by Choi. Let's go. Keep that going. Boom, boom. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, Guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Get out of there! Right hand landed. Just over three minutes to go. Stuff to take down, no problem. And there comes the separation now. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Lands the right hand. Same exact one. 
Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Head kick. Oh, right hand gets up to block it. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big leg kick land. Good stick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Just out of range with that left hook. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliot has got a stop to this contest at four minutes, two seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I'm